Hi guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with a book haul. That thumbnail was so hard to do. Hi Darcy. I want to do an unboxing to start, but Darcy just walked in and she gets excited when she's in here. Hi. See her face right there? Mwah. I gotta record my video. Alright, now that Darcy's gone. Hopefully she didn't hear me say her name. I have a really, really, really exciting package to open first. This is something that this company reached out to me and asked if they could send it to me to feature on my YouTube channel and on my social medias. And um, I had to say yes because I was stalking them when I first heard about them. They're a pretty new company. It is Imposia and it is Create Cozy Memories because they're blankets. They're book related blankets. And um, my mom and I were like obsessing over them. So as soon as they emailed me asking, if they could send me one. I texted my mom right away and screamed about it to her and so they asked me what I wanted and it is hooded blankets that are Sherpa and all I can say is it's so soft and I've waited until this video to open it. I got it yesterday. So I will go ahead and link their website down below and their Instagram down below so check that out and I'm gonna go ahead and get to the blanket and so I'll definitely feature this in future videos. Oh! I think it comes with an extra button. I was like did the button come uh, undone? There is a button on here so Right away, I open this, and they have a bunch of fun designs, and it was so hard to choose which one I wanted. It's so soft. Oh my gosh. But if you guys know me, you saw Darcy already. I love pets. I love dogs. And, ooh, it's so soft. And um, I had to have the one with the dogs on it. This is huge. I don't know how I'm going to show this to you. My dogs are going to freak out over this, so I have to make sure that I do this quickly. It is hooded. So here's the hood. It's so cute. Okay. How am I going to show this to you? <laughs> Let me back up. Look how cute that design is. So I got the design, I don't even know if you can hear me right now, of the dog and the cat under the teepee with books. And this is the inside, so it's Sherpa lined, and it has a hood, and it's soft on the outside. So on the inside, it also has a button, and it has a little loop-de-doop here that you uh, put around the button. And so it's meant to wear kind of like a cape. Ooh. Making sure that Darcy doesn't come. So that I can put my hood on. Wow, it's a nice and big hood. And... So this is super cozy and I'm obsessed and it's perfect for the season right now and I will say this is a perfect gift to get somebody to um, for Christmas and it comes with a card and the card explains how to wash it and there's actually a one year design and color warranty so they tell you exactly how to wash this which is super nice because pets are messy and so I, we always have to wash our blankets at least once a week. I'm definitely not going to wash this once a week because it's not for the dogs, but like the dog's blankets we wash constantly. Um, and so this is super nice. They are such nice quality. Like it's soft and lined on the inside and it's soft on the outside. And look at how cute that design is. I can show it. All I can say is I'm super excited for this blanket. And I want to thank them so much for sending it to me. This is the perfect gift for friends. There were so many that I wanted. There's one that has like classics on it that I almost bought. There's one that says Bookster's Gonna Book. And it's like pink and gorgeous. So, you guys. You have to check this out. Definitely keep your eye out for me using this in future videos. Because I'm going to not stop talking about it. Because it's so fun and so gorgeous. And I'm obsessed. So now on to the books. I have a lot to share with you. Some I bought myself, some I received from publishers, and so the first one's from the publisher, and that is Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. This is probably one of my most anticipated reads of the year, and it is with Montlake now, which is an Amazon publishing house, I believe, and so I had to email a few people and beg for this book because people were getting it, and I got an arc of it, which I'm very excited for. It comes out in December. All I know is that it deals with the mother-daughter relationship, and they both have a romance, possibly. I don't know, but I'm very, very excited for this. Then I bought myself a copy of The Play by Al Kennedy. This is a book three in the Briar U series. I don't know much about this one either, except for that it's Hunter's book, and he has a relationship with someone we haven't met yet in the series. It's a new adult hockey romance 
Friends, so I can't wait to read this one. Next, I was sent Christmas Shopaholic from the publisher, and this one I am excited for because I've only read one of them, and I read it back when I was a freshman in high school. It was a long, long time ago. Um, I had 2007, 2008 was when I was a freshman in high school, so over 10 years ago. But uh, this one, all I know is that it uh, takes place during Christmas, and I love Christmas romances. And so let me know, do I have to read this series in order? I don't think I do, but... I want to read it, so let me know if I can or not. Then from the publisher, I was also sent a gorgeous illustrated edition of Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. This, I don't know if it's like for the anniversary, if it's an anniversary edition, it's just it's gorgeous on the inside and it has pictures throughout. So just like this page and I just know that this is a fantasy and it's a beloved fantasy, so I would love to read this and uh, that's why I asked for it from the publisher. <laughs> Hopefully I can get to this soon. I am interested in reading more fantasy, but it, it intimidates me, so I'm hoping to get to this, but we'll see. Then I'm sent a couple of finished copies from the publisher, and the first one's Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. I love this. Gave it 5 out of 5 stars. Comes out in November. Highly recommend you guys check it out. She has a chronic illness. I think it's fibromyalgia, and she falls in love with her landlord, who is someone she hates in the beginning of the book, so it's definitely enemies to lovers, but it's super adorable. Then I've sent a copy of The Bromance Book Club by Lissa K. Adams from Berkeley, and I already read this as well. It comes out in November, and I gave it five out of five stars. So I love this book, and it is about a guy whose relationship's on the rocks. He's married with twins. He's a pro baseball player, and his wife wants a divorce, so he goes to his friends for help, and they tell him that they have a book club, and they read romances to help figure out how to win back their women, so it's super adorable. Then from the author, I was sent Beautifully Broken Spirit by Katherine Cowles. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but with the book, she did send this adorable book sleeve with my name on the back, which is super cool. It came with a sticker and a postcard, and it is super cute. This is a best friend's little sister romance, and he's always protected her, but life kind of threw a curveball at them, and he's always been there for her, and now it's their romance, so I can't wait to read this, and I just think it's so aesthetically pleasing, so I'm excited. Then in the Hello Lovely box, I will link my unboxing down below and you can check it out if you want to. They do indie published books and they redo the covers. So I was sent the box and in it it was Filthy English by Ilsa Madden Mills. This one is a different cover than the original one. The cover, the original is like a British flag and then like a bare chested guy on the front. This one's illustrated and it's super adorable and I don't remember what this is about. I guess her fiance breaks up with her and she is in college and she uh, runs into her next door neighbor who's British who she had something with three years ago so I'm excited to have this. Then I went to Half Price Books and got a couple things that I found there, and the first one is The Chalk Man by CJ Tudor. I've heard really good things about this. It is a book of the month edition and a lot of my thrillers are book of the month editions and this one I guess is a case of something happening in the past and it was like murders and stuff and it's happening again so that's exciting and I can't wait to read this. I also got a copy of Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pinborough because this was on the clearance wall and I only got this because Books and Lala gave it five stars so I don't know what it's about but I looked at her review and decided to buy it. Then I found a copy of A Girl Like Her by Talia Hibbert. I, like I said, loved her upcoming release, so I found this and was like, yes, I'm going to buy it, and I just know it's a romance between neighbors. I don't want to know anything else about it. I just want to read it and see if I enjoy it. The next one I've literally never heard of, but it sounds really good, and I was sent it from the publisher, and that is Crown of Coral and Pearl, and this is a society where uh, the prince always gets... Um, someone sent to marry him and their lives are not that great and so there's twins and when they're born when they're young one gets scarred on her face so it's obvious that the twin other twin who's not scarred is going to go marry the prince but then something tragically happens to that twin that's not scarred so the scarred twin has to go and be the one to marry the prince and so that's all I know I'm probably going to read this this month because it sounds really good and I can't wait then I was sent a copy of Reaper by Larissa Ione. I don't know anything about this. I just know it's super far into the series. So um, I don't, it's book 19 and I don't think I can read it as a standalone. So we'll see when I ever get to this because uh, I have books like one through three and I was sent book 19. So I don't know, but I like Larissa Ione. So we'll see. Then from Penguin, I had to request this when I got the email. And I'm super excited. It is the Making of Outlander season 3 and 4. And I'm super excited. This has such fun pictures in it. I haven't had the chance to look through it completely. Um, because 
I just haven't had time. But it goes all through the show and it just, ugh, I can't wait to read this and see everything about Outlander because if you didn't know I'm obsessed with Outlander. I went on an Outlander tour while I was in Scotland and it was amazing. So I can't wait for this. Then I was waiting to buy this at Half Price Books when they had their coupon clearance sale. But my friend Sarah texted me and she's like, look what I just, well I think it was in her stories and then I like asked her and then she texted me. I don't know. She told me somehow that this book was half price at Barnes and Noble and that is the illustrated edition of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire was half off at Barnes and Noble. They didn't, I don't think they advertised it at all. You just had to go in and see and it had the 50% off sticker, which I haven't even taken off yet. And so I called before I went there and I was like, my friend in Florida said that this was on sale. Is it on sale at your store? And they're like, oh yeah. So I stopped by and picked it up and I got my sister one too. And so we got this for $25 because it retails now for $50 because it is giant. Let me make sure it does, I'm pretty sure. Yep, $48. So I got it for $24. <sighs> they're giant now and I'm very excited to have this. I still haven't read the other three, but I do own them. So this is going to look good on my shelves. As in, I haven't read the illustrated edition. Obviously I've read Harry Potter, but I haven't cracked my illustrated editions open yet. Next I got three Christmas books from the publishers. The first two are from Berkeley. That is Sergeant's Christmas Siege by Megan Crane. This is book three in the series and I haven't read books one and two, but it's Christmas and I think it's a romantic suspense. And then I was sent a Mackenzie Clan Christmas by Jennifer Ashley, which is two novellas of Christmas from her historical romances. And then probably most exciting is Christmas Wishes and Mistletoe Kisses by Jenny Hale. This is actually a Hallmark movie now. It came out I think last week and Warner from Lily Blonde slash Alaric from Vampire Diaries is in the movie for this. So I'm hoping to read this really soon so I can watch the movie. Or I might watch the movie first because last time I did that with a Hallmark movie it totally ruined the movie for me because the Hallmark movies like cut out the good stuff from the book. So I'm excited to have these three. Then from Half Price Books, I bought Night Song by Beverly Jenkins. This is one of those like floppy mass markets, which I love. It's super easy not to bend the spine by reading these. And I don't know anything about it, but it's historical. And Beverly Jenkins is a really, really well-known black historical romance author that's really paved the way for black authors, romance authors. And I really want to read some of her books, especially with the discussion around about black romance authors. So I'm excited to read this. Then from Berkeley, I was sent Spun Out by Lorelai James. I love Lorelai James and this one is our female characters actually was in the military or the army or something and she has to take care of a five-year-old and the dad is who she falls in love with. So sounds super cute. I'm assuming it takes place on a farm because he looks like a cowboy. So I'm excited to read this. Then I was sent a finished copy of Not the Girl You Marry by Andy J. Christopher. This is a gender swapped How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days story and I DNF this after I requested it. So we'll see if I actually like continue on and I have an interest in finishing the book. I don't know. It was just very not that great. I didn't like the romance and it didn't feel the chemistry so we'll see if I actually pick this up again. Then I was sent a copy of Love Lettering by Kate Claiborne. This one our main character likes calligraphy and she has her own business revolved around that and she's working on a wedding and she kind of has this intuition of whether couples will stay together or not so she knows this wedding is doomed. It does fail and the guy ends up finding her and says how did you know my marriage is going to fail and I think it's their romance. So really fun and really unique of a plot line so I'm excited to read this. And then on the clearance wall at Half Price Books, I did find Gabriel's Rapture by Sylvain Renard. I don't know if I'm saying that name right, but this is, I don't know if it's book two, book three. I bought the first book recently, so uh, I'm guessing it's book two. And I need to read these because it's, they're super hyped and it's a professor and a student romance. So yeah, I had to buy it. And that's all I've gotten in the past about month-ish. Let me know down below what you've gotten and what you're excited for me to have. I would love to hear. As always, thanks so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.